Hey everybody, on this nice rainy day here in Texas. I've got some good news on the uh, Xtool D8BT. Um, there's actually some videos floating around showing the D8 with topology. So the question is, when is that coming to the D8BT? Well, I emailed Xtool last night and got a reply this morning. Uh, and it is coming to the D8BT. Uh, but they're working out some bugs right now before they release it. But they did say that it is definitely coming to the D8 BT. So if you're wanting a scan tool with topology, the D8 or the D8 BT is, is going to have it. The D8 already has it. Uh, you may have seen videos, uh, people showing it. But the BT apparently has got enough differences to where uh, it, it takes different software and they're working out the bugs. The second good news is I'd emailed them uh, about the uh, graphing scales. And they said that they've got those fixed. Um, they sent me a file and we're getting ready to install that file and we're going to hook it up over here on the truck and we're going to see uh, the differences. So in fact, let me go ahead and start this screen recorder. And let's see, what do I need to do here to get to where I need to get? We'll go here to home, maybe? Download. This is the file. So we're going to see what, what we got to do here. I want to go ahead and install Said always to that. So this is the file that they sent to me uh, that's got the fixed graphing scales on it. So I, I'm anxious to uh, to see what it is. Oh, and I should have went and showed. Well, that's doing that. Can we do this? I don't know if we're going to be able to do this or not. No, nope, it's in up right now. Um, I was going to show the version that. Uh, this scan tool is, but we're going to go ahead and do that now. And we'll go over here to settings. And if you see this app version 4.341 underscore 7.82. So that's the app version that they sent me. So now let's uh, let me go get the VCI and we're going to get it hooked up to my truck. Okay, here we are in the truck. Key is on. Let's go ahead and do an auto scan. These the graphing was one of the things that could be irritating depending on what. Uh, device you was um, checking. Truck saying the battery's low, so I may have to start it here in a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and do live data. Or hold on a minute. Yeah, live data, engine data. Let's go over here to uh, we'll do an O2 sensor. Yep, look at that. Zero to six volt. Now before uh, the lowest voltage you could go on the graph was twelve volts. So that's looking good. Let's go ahead and start it up. Get that O2, O2 sensor working. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over here to uh, <coughs> the range, I guess is what you'd call it. Yep, there's 2 volt. So you got 6, 4, and 2. That's much better. That is great. So if you see, we got a 0 to 2 volt which is going to show the uh, O2 scale 
much more, uh, you know, much in a much more amplified, I guess, uh, graphing range. That's more like, you know, that's more what you would expect. Then, of course, you've got your uh, X2. Which you can slow down. The graphing ability of the X of the uh, X tool D8 and D8BT is actually not too bad. This was the biggest problem that they had with the graphing was the scale, but it looks like they've got that uh, worked out. Now, the next thing, since this scale here for the O2 sensors goes from 0 to 6 volts, Let's look at something else that uh, uh, let's see how do we get it back? Let's go back. Let's go to uh, grams per. Let's just see how the grams per second works out uh, here in the. Uh, okay, yeah, they still got the zero to twenty for the uh, mass airflow. And it auto, you can see it auto uh, adjust depending on what the, uh, you know, if it peaks above the 20 that it starts at, then it'll go ahead and auto scale the uh, the scale there. So let's uh, let's pick something else. Let's go to temperature. Temperature scale looks good. I'm just hitting the X1 button just to see what the different scales are there. So yeah, the O2, the O2 scales are fixed. Let's go back to the O2. Right there, it starts out at a two volt scale. Yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now the nice thing about this, if you don't already know, let's go ahead and pick two of these. And go to custom. Um, you can combine them and you can watch, you know, two or more uh, at the same time and that other one I forgot to uh, deselect we've actually got three what do we got here we got three O2 sensors and I didn't mean to get the uh, the purpose of the sensor 2 I didn't mean to get sensor 2 in there And then if you hit the refresh, it'll just start all over again, I believe. There's the X2 scale. One point three volt scale and a point seven volt. Yeah, I'm liking these scales. There's that sensor too. Of course, if you don't know about sensor two, that's the downstream uh, O2 sensors. They're they should if your catalytic converters are working, they should be flat like that. And then your uh, your upstreams should uh, you know be going high and low. 2 volt scale, 1.3 volt, so it should be any time before they push this update out uh, to the uh, D8 and the D8BT. Now I don't know, they didn't say anything else in this update if there was any other fixes. So, um, 
you know, I don't know anything about that. Well, there's the topology. Okay, I guess this update also has the topology in it. I wasn't expecting the topology in this update. They didn't say anything. They did say that they had some bugs to work out before they pushed it out to the other D8BT. And uh, I guess they went ahead and, and gave me the update that's got the topology included in it. So I'll check it and uh, I'll see if, uh, if I find any bugs in it as far as what I am doing. And I'm assuming if you hit this list, of course that's the normal list that you would uh, that you would have. Then you can go back over here to the topology. It's got up in the upper right. You can see, uh, you know, 10 of 31 modules. Right now, there's two DTCs in the electronic brake control module. You got this plus and minus to where you can uh, enlarge it. So that's pretty cool. So that's, uh, that is proof that they are coming out with the topology for the D8BT also. And if you don't know, so if you look up here in the upper left, you've got the white, not scanned, green, normal, orange, malfunction, the gray, no response. And that's normally because that module's not on the vehicle, but it can also mean that uh, it's not being able to communicate with it. And then, of course, you got multi-system as the purple. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's looking pretty promising. This, the D8BT just got to be a better value for anybody that was delaying buying one because you would like to have something with topology. I don't know of another scan tool in this price range that has topology. If, if you do, let me know because if there is, I'd like to check it out and uh, see what it's all about. But it looks to me like the uh, D8BT with the topology is going to be probably one of the best value scan tools on the market. The D8 and the D8BT. So, take me a screenshot of that for the thumbnail that I'm going to be doing on this video. So yeah, it looks like this update fixed the, uh, the, the graphing scales and includes the topology. So look forward to a major update on the uh, X tool to add topology and add the uh, updated graphing ability of the uh, X tool D8 BT. Now this truck can have up to 31 modules on it. If you look up here where it's saying 25 of 31, that means there could be a possibility of, ha of this truck with 31 modules. And uh, it's on number 25. It's scanning number 25 right now, not 26, 27. And that's a pretty cool. So if you tap one of the modules, you know, let's say uh, TCM. I'm going to tap TCM. It'll tell you what that module is. Now, if there's a, and it looks like, so if I tap ECM, notice that diagnosis is grayed out. Now I'm going to go with the uh, electronic brake control module. And that's still scanning, so maybe diagnosis is grayed out on it also because it's, or maybe it's grayed out on all of them because it's still scanning. So we'll, we're going to wait for it to finish scanning. We only got two more modules, or uh, yeah, two more modules left, and then we're going to uh, see whenever I tap one of those if it says diagnose. M, so right now it's on module MDP. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. MDP. All right, so I'm going to tap this 
electronic brake control module. Yeah, and it's got diagnosed there. Now you, yeah, diagnose becomes unshaded whenever it finishes the entire scan. So I'm going to hit this electronic brake. We're going to go right into diagnose. And uh, we'll look at some trouble codes here. Control module communication chassis expansion can bus off. I'll have to look at those and see what uh, what that is. This truck's pretty much fully loaded. It's got a trailer brake and everything else, so that might be have something to do with that. Let's go back and see if it actually goes back. Yeah, it goes back into the topology menu. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, and again, you can hit over here and you can see the list, or you can hit topology. Uh, DTC report clear all DTCs let's go ahead and do that see how that works and there you have it so the D8BT with topology and the fixed graphing scales they're just making this scan tool better and better you know, I've had a couple people comment with, with hate for the X tool, but i tell you what, this, I've got three different scan tools. I've got an Autel, a Launch, and this X tool, and the X tool is the one I grab first every time because it, it just, it's fast, it does everything I want. I love my X tool. Anyway, we're done. You guys take care. We'll see you in the next one.